So what I'm going to do now is look at the original, Pliny's original word problem, where you put bore, and you can probably figure out that this weakens, uh, this has the effect of uh, weakening one of the assumptions, and it turns out it weakens it so much that uh, this no longer follows, the argument is no longer valid. And so let's see how this goes. The only thing that changes The only thing that changes is this becomes or. We still have to negate the conclusion, so that's the same. But now what happens is this, when you have an or on the right hand side, all you do is <coughs> throw it away because in this clause here, they're already implicitly It's much easier to convert this. This this now is equivalent to a single clause, the one with the disjunction from away. So now we're we ask the same question: Are these clauses inconsistent? So now we do the same thing, except we have a different set of clauses, smaller set, weaker set, and it's going to turn out that we can, these are consistent. So we can't derive the empty clause. But let's see what happens. Uh, so we can do that. We can still do this one. And we can do this one. And we can do these two. Now, we have some more. We can combine these two. So combine this, we get S implies C. But we've already got that. And in fact, what happens now what's happened now is that I don't believe we can get any new clauses. So can you take C implies SW and SW implies nothing and get S implies S and W implies W? Well, yeah, that's what, that's what I, there's two. Uh, so let's combine, let's see what we can do here. Uh, so we can uh, do resolution, let's say S appears on both sides. So if we cancel that out, we get W implies W. But this is useless because it's guaranteed to be true. Of course, W implies W. So we're not really getting any closer to contradiction. So normally you don't derive, this is a tautologous clause. Whenever there, uh, one variable appears on both sides, the clause is a tautology. There's no way it will be false. Uh, this is just equivalent to one. So normally we don't include these. And in fact, if, if we don't allow tautologous clauses, it turns out uh, we're done. We can't generate any more clauses. So we've, this, is, this set of clauses is what's known as resolution complete. Now here's the problem that in principle, we, our resolution, we've gone as far as we can go with resolution. Now, if it's a much larger set of clauses, you can generate an awful lot with resolution, even if you can't generate the empty, the empty clause. So we've got a set of clauses that's closed under resolution. So we have no hope of generating the empty clause, uh, which would make us guess that the, the set of these clauses are not inconsistent. Well, if they are not inconsistent, there must be a way to make them all true or at least you'd think. Uh, so let me, what I'm going to do is write them all on the list. Now since we can't prove it's inconsistent, there must, there is probably, that would suggest there's a truth assignment that makes them consistent. If so, how do we find it? Well, this is the tricky thing. Uh, 
but it turns out there's a fairly straightforward way of doing it. And this is the, the procedure that's mentioned in the assignment. It's uh, Davis, originally Davis and Putnam and some other people got involved. And it's a fairly simple idea. And what we do is to find the truth assignments, that, or at least one truth assignment that will make them all true, we start guessing at the values of the variables. Now, in general, <coughs> if we started out here and didn't do the didn't try to use resolution, turns out this guessing is tricky because we may have to take back or we may get something wrong. But if the thing is resolution complete, it turns out we're not going to guess wrong, provided we don't directly contradict what's written there. So let's start with A. It doesn't matter which we start with, let's start with A. And and I'm going to guess, the, I have to figure out a guess, is 0 or 1. Well, if you notice here, this one says that basically says A is true, so I certainly don't want to guess that A is false. If I guess that A is false, I'll generate which is going to be wrong. So I'm going to guess that A is 1. Now, here's what you do. You go through, well, I'll do it once, slowly, and then you'll get the general idea. So you go through this, the clauses, and you replace A by 1. And then what you do is you simplify these clauses. Now, this simply asserts that one is true, so this clause doesn't contribute anything. It's a, it's a tautology, we don't have to keep track of it. This one, it says that if one is true, then either S or W is true. Well, we don't need to have the one there, we can just remove the one. So this is the pattern. Some clauses, well, there's only one, one clause gets discarded because it doesn't say anything anymore. The other one gets simplified. And that's the pattern that, that if the clauses that have A on the right-hand side get discarded, the clauses that have A on the left-hand side get simplified, and the result is A doesn't appear anymore. Now what I'll do is I'll just, here's our new set of clauses. And now we choose another variable and make a guess for it. However, now there's, there's no variable for which it's stated out and out that, this is, that it's either true or false. And what that means is we can take any variable we want and make any guess we want. So what I'm going to do is take the variable C. So here I guess that A is 1, but I didn't really have any choice. Here I'm going to guess that C is, is 1 as well. And then I'm going to go a little bit faster. Uh, so these two just I'll eliminate the duplication. They're not affected by the guess, so we have SW. Making C1 allows us to get rid of this one, so we don't have it anymore. Making C equals 1 allows us to get rid of this one. Making C equals 1 allows us to remove C from this side, so this becomes W arrow. And this one is not changed at all. So after two guesses, our original set of seven clauses is reduced to three clauses. And now it's stated outright that W is false, so we can't guess that W is true. It makes sense to guess W is false. And since W is false, this one turns into S. Since W is false, this becomes Zero implies uh, this becomes true, so we get rid of it. Uh, since W is false, we get rid of this. So after guessing that W is false, we have one clause less left, and it says that S is true, so we guess S is true and get rid of this one. And now we have no clauses left to satisfy. So what's happened if we take A and C to be 1 and W to be 0 and S to be 1, then we've satisfied all these clauses.